All right, so I told you guys I was going to introduce a new color, and this is the color that we are going to be introducing to the loft for fall. So I got the inspiration from a photo that I saw in a magazine from our house or our house. Um, our house is a high-end store similar to Restoration Hardware and I'll put up the inspiration photo here. I just love the brown tones with the black and accents of wood. So I thought, hmm, let me try to bring a similar vibe, a look and feel to the loft. I did an Amazon dupes um, for CB2 pillow covers and this is one of the pillow covers I found in my inspiration search. And when I brought it up here and I saw it against the black couch with our black CB2 inspired canvases, that's a DIY by the way. And if you missed that video, I will leave that link down below in case you care to check it out. But it's just a dupe and it's using old canvases and an empty Amazon box. So yeah. I like the way they turned out and when I put the pillow up here I just like the color combination so we're going for a warm moody fall vibe up here in the loft and I think this color is gonna tie in really really well so let me show you some of the other pieces that I picked up to decorate up here in the loft and then we'll get started Okay, so here are some things that I am going to try to incorporate in our design in the loft area. So we're gonna start with this bowl. I saw this at Target and I really liked it. I like the warm wood tones with the, like a darker, like charred type of color. I thought it would be perfect to bring that warmth into fall or bring the warmth for fall into the loft. So we pick that up. And then I showed you guys, or I told you guys I was gonna go out Goodwill hunting for some pieces that I could also use in the loft area. So you guys know I'm loving the warm amber tones for fall. So when I saw this, I absolutely had to pick it up. It was I think $1.99 or $2.99 and then I showed you guys um, when we went out thrifting and then I found this piece which I felt like I could use on the coffee table um, as a centerpiece. It's similar to the, I think it's a vase or a bowl from our inspiration photo from our house. So I'm going to try to incorporate it and I think it was like $2.99 or maybe $5.99. I'll put up a photo here to show you how much they were. And then I was out at Ross, and again, I'm loving the amber color. So I found this candle and it was, I think I took the tag off that one. This one, it was $7.99. And again, also inspired by a candle that I saw at our house. And I saw similar candles from at Kirkland's earlier in the year. I did a Kirkland's What's New for Fall, if you missed that video. I will leave that linked in the, in the description box down below so you can go check that out. But they had these really pretty burnt uh, orange or amber colored candles with like a little, I, I don't know, a, a dusty or ashy type overtone. They were so pretty. And our house has similar candles and they are much more expensive. So I thought I could go back to Kirkland's and pick those up, but they are no longer available and I'm so sad. So I went over to Ross and I found these, which I thought were similar, $7.99, a lot less expensive, but I will leave a link down below or I'll put up a photo of the candles in case you are interested and you might still be able to find them at your local Kirkland's. And then I went to the Dollar Tree. I was actually on the hunt for the little white um, rattan pumpkins and I couldn't find those, 
But I did find these in this like tan and brownish color. And I thought these two would be perfect to bring in that warmth for fall. So I could put them in a floral arrangement or I could stick them in a bowl like this. Look how pretty that is and how they would go really well together. So these are the items that we're going to be playing with. And also I decided, let me show you. Decided to get these curtains and let me show you the color. Yes, again, we are bringing in that warm goldish brown tone. So, this is what we are going to be using to decorate our loft. And again, my inspiration is from our house and it's from this photo here. So, Let's go and try to bring our vision to life. So for me today, it's officially, it's September the 1st. So for me, officially fall, fall time. So it's time to switch up and rearrange items here in the loft. but this is how they are looking and on this side so I'm gonna make a trip now to Goodwill to see if I could find some more items um sorry guys this lighting is horrible these pieces oh my gosh are so heavy but I actually got these thrifting I love these but I don't think they're gonna work with the vibe that I want to bring in for fall so we're gonna have to take these out and then you guys remember my white alligator that I picked up from Z gallery absolutely love him I don't know he might stay but for now we're gonna take him out as well. And then that leaves us with these candle holders, which I love because 
they're the brassy gold color. So we're gonna leave these. So, so pretty. Because as you can see, they match with, where am I pointing? Yeah, here, here, here. They match with our, <laughs> which way am I pointing? This way, yeah, they match with our little gold pieces here. So they're gonna stay the piece that we got from <coughs> Home Goods. This piece is gonna stay. So yeah, let's get all of this cleaned up really, really well, and then we'll be able to start decorating. All right, so we're gonna use my favorite cleaning spray for fall. This is Mrs. Meyer's Acorn Spice. It smells so, so good. If you guys have not yet checked it out, make sure you do, you will not regret it. Make sure home smells so, 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 so good. We're just gonna take everything off and give our coffee table a good cleaning. We have to also clean our bookcase. So. You can see that. books I got from Z Gallery ages ago, but they still sell them if you're interested in those. I got these when they were on clearance, but they're normally $19.99 for a set of three, I believe. I always shop Z Gallery when there's a sale, and it's Labor Day weekend, so there's a sale going on. So if you didn't know, now you do. Make sure if you're looking for anything, you know, kind of glam or modern, check out Z Gallery. Get that additional 20% off because it is a holiday weekend. Remember, I told you guys to always shop Z Gallery on a holiday weekend. So run out to your near Z Gallery, or better yet, shop online. really fond of but I keep my grandchildren's toys in here so I need a, a storage solution but these baskets yeah these baskets don't really go but I haven't found anything that will fit in the dimensions of these cubbies so I'm still on the hunt but these might not they'll, they'll go back <laughs> after I'm done with the video but for aesthetic purposes, they probably won't be here. So let's finish this up and then we'll get to decorating.
So I found these amber little candle holders at the Goodwill and they were like $1.99 a piece. Um, doesn't say where they came from, but I use these for my urban jungle theme. If you missed that video, it was my summer video and I will leave that linked in the description box below. But look guys, I broke one of them and I don't think I can put it back together. These were so pretty, but I have one. So we'll try to decorate with the one. So I found these vases earlier from Amazon. I absolutely love the design aesthetic. So I'm gonna try to incorporate these. There was a set of three, I'm gonna say it was around $30 but I want to try to incorporate them somehow into the room for fall and our cute little monkey that we got for our urban jungle theme. He needs to go bye-bye. So say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bobo. And then this we might keep because again, it is bringing in the brassy tone, but yeah, let's say bye-bye to Bobo. Okay. So, this is the pillow cover that we used in our summer decorating. Love that, loved it, loved it. These came from Amazon, I mentioned that I purchased anything from Amazon. You can always find it linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested, go check it out. And when you do purchase there, I do get a small commission. So let me know if you decide to do that. I would greatly appreciate the support. So now we're going to talk about pillow options here in these barrel chairs. Chairs. So I purchased these barrel chairs from Amazon. No, not Amazon. Overstock. Um, about a couple of years ago now. So I want to change out the look to make it more appropriate for fall, you know, to bring in the, the warm brassy golds with the warm gold browns. So I have this pillow cover that I purchased from Amazon. Again, it was in my Amazon versus CB2, uh, CB2 versus Am Amazon dupes pillow covers, if I could talk. So this was one of the options. So I like it. I think it looks good because we don't want everything to be so matchy matchy. So this is an option or we could go with a straight black pillow cover. Like that. If our chair were big enough, we could probably try to do like a look. If I had a little smaller pillow, so that might be an option. Um, but I don't, so we could also just use this really pretty gold brown pillow cover here in this space. I'm kind of liking this warm gold brown. So let's finish decorating the room and we'll come back and see how we like this look. All right, so we have our fireplace that's up here and I always try to keep this area kind of like warm and cozy. And I picked up this pillow. I said I wasn't gonna use anything that had pumpkins on it or was pumpkin related, but I thought I would set it here just to see how I like the look. Cause you know, it is fall. And I don't know. We'll see, we'll leave this like this for now and we're gonna move over to our bookcase. Okay, here are the pieces that I have pulled out that we're going to try to incorporate into the bookcase. So let's see what look we can come up with. All right, so again, we're trying to bring in the warmth for fall, but I wanna 
try to use some black and gold as well. So we'll set this piece here. We'll take this and set it here. And then let's try one of our candle holders that we picked up. And if I put that one here, let's try the other one here. And I think I would like to try to incorporate these black pieces. So let's try those up here. Like that. And I think I need some gold tones over here. So we'll try to use these. These came from Ross a few years ago, I think. Yeah, $9.99 and $8.99. So, and these are a high-end candle. These are a brassy gold with a marble base. Um, these came from a very deluxe home decor store. I forget the name of it, but they're similar to Uttermost. So I think I like that. And I think I need one more thing to replace this piece. So maybe this warm brassy vase. We'll see. And then I need, I think, to switch this piece out and maybe, I think I need another black piece on this side to balance out that side. So maybe I'll take this and put it over here. So, yeah. Then we have the other few remaining white pieces and I don't think I have enough brassy brown pieces. Maybe take these out and we try to use our candles. And let me just bring you close. All right, for this, I'm gonna take the, this lid and then I'm gonna take the candle and I'm gonna turn it to the back and then set the candle like this so that it looks like one. And we'll take this out so that it looks like it's one piece. And let's see, do we like that? This is how it's currently looking. And I think I like it take the greenery out. I really need to do something with those books and games down there, but I don't have a spot for them, so just pretend they're not there. <laughs> but this is how it's looking currently. I think I'm liking it. Um, let's change out this vase with another of those candles. Alright, this is giving a like it. So I'm trying to recreate the look of those candles that I saw at our house. And I'll put up a photo here. And I think we're pretty close. We just don't have that frosted look. Again, the candles from our house were $35 and we picked ours up from Ross for $7.99. So absolutely love 
the look that this is giving. Again, still not sure about these leaves because they're green. I think I'm gonna take those out and not use them at all. Get this out. All right, so we remove the leaves and I like it a lot better. So that is finished, but what about the top? What are we going to do for the top? Let me see. All right, so I've taken our Tahari vase that was over here and I put it over here on top of the bookcase. So let me see. I have these two pieces, so we're gonna try to use these and see how that looks. So this vase is the infamous H&M vase. Everyone has this. So I'm gonna try to set it on this side to kind of balance out our Tahari vase. And then this piece I showed you guys in a haul um, I was thinking about using it downstairs, but we're gonna try it out here first. And it came from a little shop online. I first saw it on Kimberly Capone's channel. And so I went on the hunt for it and I found it from this little shop in Florida. And I will leave the information link below in case you're interested. I think it was like 65 or $70 a little pricey but again I thought I was buying three pieces where it's these three it's three pieces but they're welded together so that's how that's looking all right so this is how it's looking um I don't know I like all of this here I need to find two more gold pieces to replace these two white areas or some amber. I think I need to bring in some more amber because I really love the look of these amber and gold candles. Absolutely love it. I love our marble and gold candle holders. I wish I could find some more of those from Ross. I do have one other one, but I don't have a I only have three, I don't have four, so I don't think it would look really good with an odd one out. But this is how it's looking. I don't know, I'm not in love with a top either. So we'll probably keep looking, but for now we're gonna go with this look, and if I make any changes or updates, I'll come back and let you know. So, on to the couch. All right, so I showed you guys this pillow cover. Um, again, it was part of my Amazon dupes to CB2, but this was a pillow cover that I picked up before that. And it was when I was going more in an art deco sort of style for fall. Um, I have since changed my mind, but we will probably incorporate this, I don't know, maybe downstairs in the lounge or maybe not at all. Or if I get tired of this warm gold brown tone up here, I might change it, but I just wanted to show you guys this pillow. It is very glam, very luxe. So in case you might be interested, but we're not gonna use this pillow, but I just wanted to show it to you. So we're gonna change out this pillow cover. for fall I had this hunter green pillow cover up here this was very very pretty but not what we're going for and I don't take my pillow covers off I just put the new pillow cover over so that's what we're going to do. And I've seen people say this is the easy way to change out a pillow cover. <laughs> but 
I've not had any luck with it. But we're gonna try it again and see if it'll make it any easier to put this pillow cover on. seat I've had for years and I just picked it up from Overstock so yeah I like that what do you think all right so I have this little ottoman that I'm using as like a side table so when we're up here we can lounge and have a place to put our drinks and this little tray I picked up on clearance I want to say from Target many many years ago and we have some coasters up here and then this little lamp that I picked up from Amazon again um, bringing in the warmth for fall and this is something whoops that I originally saw on the house of Valentina and I liked it so like I need to have that in my life so I just love the way it looks here and then we're just going to accessorize with this little tray or not tray but a little trinket box this came from Ross maybe here how do we want to put this maybe just like that but love the warmth of this area Now it's on to the coffee table and I think that's, we're done after that. Okay, so for the coffee table, I want to bring in some warmth. So we're going to play around with a few looks. So I have these really pretty vases that I picked up from Tuesday morning. If you guys miss that video make sure you go check it out do not sleep whoops sorry about that on tuesday morning they have a lot of really nice things this base was 30 dollars. this one was 19.99 so you can find these at high-end expensive looking stores and they would cost you a lot more than the 50 bucks for two which i thought was a good deal so we could leave the coffee table like this, very simple and simplistic. You guys know I love simple and simplistic. So this is how the first one would look. modern but I also want to bring in those warm amber tones as well so we could add a candle we have this candle that I brought in for summer so I like that look Again, don't mind the books back here because that's going to go. I just don't have a place for it right now. So pretend it's not there and just look at the overall aesthetic of the other pieces. So I love this look, but let's try the bowl that we picked up from Target. Mm -hmm. 
So we have that. And then we could add back our candlesticks that we had earlier. And let's bring the bowl up front. A little over to the side. Bring the bowl and the candle. And we have our pumpkins, our natural pumpkins. Really don't want to break these stems. So I'm going to set them in here and see how I might like it. Let's just pretend <laughs> that there, there's no stems. And I think I kind of like that. It's giving me that warm look for fall that I am going for. So like I said, I don't want to break these stems because these are the only ones I've found so far. So I'm going to keep looking, but pretend the stems weren't there and it's just a bow filler. And I think that also would look really cute, but let's add another element. So while I was at Tuesday morning, I also found these faux books. It's just like a storage box. And I love the color on it, the brassy gold, the warm bronzy tones. So we could add these books to the table. And I just like the fact that this one says Treasure Island. And this was $9.99. So this one says Treasure Island. This one says War and Peace. And then this one is William Shakespeare. So I thought it would give us, I don't know, a very sophisticated palette to try to have these like warm gold brassy colored books. So, and we have our candle. Again, just a modern, simplistic look. All right, so this is how the third coffee table styling would look. Again, very simplistic, and I actually like it. So, leave me a comment down below. Which coffee table styling did you like best? One, two, or three. Again, with two, use your imagination and just pretend like it was base filler um, until I can get some pumpkins to go in there. So I don't know, I'm liking them all, but I think, I don't know, this one is just giving me the vibe that I
guys so here is the final look and I am absolutely loving it so let me show you again our inspiration photo it's from our house or our house and I just love the warm tones of the brown so because I decorate in black and white my home sometimes can seem kind of cold sterile so I've been trying to warm it up by bringing in warm brassy tones and I am loving the look so for the loft area I wanted to play that up a little bit more and try to introduce the warm gold brown so I think we have achieved the look that I was going for and I am so here for it it is so warm and cozy here in the lounge for fall. So let's break down everything. So the pillow covers again came from Amazon. I absolutely love the way they look here on the couch. I do have a throw ordered, but it has not arrived yet. So that's why you don't see it here. Once the throw gets here, I'll do an update photo so you can take a look but I just again love the candles that we picked up from Z Gallery on clearance and I think they just pair really well here um I love the lamp and our CB2 our well not our CB2 our dupes of the CB2 canvases I absolutely love the way they look here on the wall again with the warm brown gold of the pillow it looks so luxe so high-end to me and on our little table we have our little light again that we picked up from Amazon and if I can get it it also brings in the warm tones for fall so I absolutely love this little area the little look can you imagine it if it were nighttime and this were on so so pretty so I'm gonna turn this back off because I'm loving the candlelight a lot more so this is how it looks with the candlelight it's bringing in that warm amber tones that you guys I told you I am loving for fall I first introduced the warm amber tones in my powder room. If you missed that video, I will leave that linked in the description box down below so you can go check that out. And I was inspired by this light fixture, which again is an Amazon dupe for a restoration hardware um, chandelier. And I will turn on the light so you can see what I mean wrong light <laughs> so I'll turn on the light and you see that warm glow so the only thing I need left is to get a dimmer to put this on but just look at that amber glow so so pretty absolutely love this chandelier so I will leave it linked as well if you are interested but it's a dupe from Amazon I think the for the Restoration Hardware one, the one from Restoration Hardware, uh, 1200, something like that. This one was 300, so a little pricey, If, but again, it's given us the luxe look for less, so I felt like the $300 was really worth it. So love the way that looks in the space. We got a new rug also, again, from Amazon. <laughs> Guys, I do a lot of shopping on Amazon my boyfriend is actually now friends with the amazon driver he's here so much but i love this look i love the look of this rug again i want it to bring in warmth i brought in this rug for our summer our urban jungle theme because i thought the little stripes kind of mimicked i don't know it kind of looked like bamboo stripes to me so i love that but i thought the rug would look really well all year round in a space and I just love it so again we've added warmth of the candle here with the amber glass our little brass tone candlesticks these came from 
TJ Maxx and absolutely love them. Our little faux boxes here came from Tuesday morning. Again, do not sleep on Tuesday morning. Love this look. And then on our bookcase, you saw how we put this together. Absolutely love how it turned out as well. I especially love this area with the warm brassy candle holders and the amber glass. And then with the addition of the black, so, so pretty, love this look. Again, we need to change out these two. So I'm on the hunt for more pieces. And then over here, don't mind that lamp, it's just an extra lamp. But over here, we have paired, again, an amber candle holder. Absolutely love this here. And our lamps that we got from Home Goods several years ago also brings in that warm, brassy gold tone, as you can see. So I just think it looks so pretty, so, so luxe. And then our curtains. I absolutely love the warmth of our gold brown curtains. I don't know if you could call it like a chestnut color or, yeah, I think a warm chestnut is what I would call it. So absolutely love the look of this space. Again, with a matching lamp on this side. And then over here, we have our fireplace. Again, I think I wanna change out this canvas, but I haven't found anything that I like just yet, but I love this vignette as well. I would turn on the fireplace to give you an even warmer, cozier vibe, but the light bulb has burned out, so I need to get that replaced. And then we have our chairs with the warm gold brown pillow covers. Again, so, so perfect. You know, I probably should have, let's light this candle as well. There we go. And then our chairs over here with the warm gold brown pillow covers. Also love this area. So warm, so perfect for fall. And then I also added this little side table so you could add your drinks and i just decided to set the decor pieces that we picked up from tuesday morning on this little table because i absolutely love the way they look i think i might end up putting them back in the center of the table um but for now this is how the loft is looking and i absolutely love it and i am here for it so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you and in your fall decorating. If so, please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Did you think I would ever use a brown, <laughs> a warm gold brown, but did you think I would ever bring in brown in my home? I didn't think so, but I absolutely love the way it looks here in the loft area. Let me know if you agree. So again, if today's video has inspired you, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. And if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free and you get tons of free decorating inspiration. And if you love decorating your home with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the family. So guys, let's take one last look around the room and I hope to see you in the next one.